Hey guys, Libra here, and welcome to another video of Monster Hunter World. In this video, we are going to cover my recommendations for the skill sets to use on your charge blade. So I tend to run a max DPS build on my charge blade. The reason for this is weapons like Charge Blade, Switch Axe, Greatsword or Hammer tend to focus more on burst damage. So as you can see here, my weapon choice is the Diablos Tyrannus Mark II. It has the highest raw damage for a Charge Blade currently in the game. On top of this, it can have up to two augmentations as you can see, I picked both attack increase on my augmentations. You might have noticed that this weapon currently has negative 30 affinity, but fear not, there is a cure. So the cure for this is maximum might. You might be asking yourself, what does maximum might do? At level 1, it increases your affinity by 10%. And at level 3, it increases it by 30%. Now keep in mind, this skill is only activated if your stamina bar is full. This immediately negates the negative affinity of the Diablos Charge Blade. Now the reason why I think this is an absolute must for this build is because if you're running Charge Blade, you are not using your stamina in your attacks. Weapons like the dual blades or the bow, however, do require stamina, so I do not recommend maximum might on those weapons. Here are a couple of must-haves if you decide to use this build. Now as I mentioned earlier, we are focusing on heavy burst damage. First, we have the skill Artillery level 3 combined with Capacity Boost. Capacity boost will increase your file capacity by one whole file. In this clip, we see the damage when artillery is not added. And in this clip, we see the damage when artillery combined with capacity is added. Another must on your build if you are running the Diablo's Charge Blade should be non-elemental boost. And again, another important skill to have is attack boost 7 or at least 4, otherwise it's definitely not worth it. For optional skills, and these are entirely up to you, include critical boost and weakness exploit level 3. The main armor set that I use mainly focuses on raw damage, it does not have weakness exploit 3. I make up for my crits using the affinity booster. Please note that affinity only affects your chance to land a critical strike. Critical boost however will raise the amount of damage you deal when you land a critical strike. The next armor set that I use is my affinity set. I won't get fully into it, but basically it has weakness exploit level 3 and focuses mainly on critting. The last armor set that I use is a mixture of the Nergigante set and the Diablos set, focusing mainly on heroics. At level 5, the skill will give you 30% of your base damage and an added 40 defense when your health drops at 35%. Please note that I only recommend this set if you are confident in your skills. I personally think the added 40 defense is pretty useless at 35% HP as most tempered monsters would one-shot you at that level of health. I do think however that instead of giving us 40 defense it should give us increased crit chance or crit damage 
or give you a higher evasion chance, but that's just me. Let me know on the comments section if you believe heroics is worth it, and if the plus 40 defense should stay the way it is. So to recap this video, I personally recommend artillery level 3, capacity boost, non-elemental boost, attack boost either 4 or 7 in your main skill set. And for your optional skills, you should have critical boost or weakness exploit in there. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for more videos and as always, happy hunting.